Today, I'm going to share with you three lessons that I learned from Wahei Takeda, who used to be called Warren Buffett of Japan, which helped me achieve success and happiness in my own life. The first lesson I learned from him is forget about money. And I was so confused. What do you mean by that, sir? I just came here all the way from Tokyo to learn about money from you. And the first lesson is forget about money. And he, with a big smile, said, Unless you forget about money, money will not show up in your life. He went on to explain about you should focus on giving or you should focus on doing things for others. And as a result of good work, money will follow. So if you always focus on money, if you focus on your own gain, money will disappear and then never comes back. So his lesson is forget about money temporarily and then focus on what you can give to the society. The more quality and more quantity of service you give out to the world, you receive as a bonus. But unless you forget about money at the beginning, you cannot focus on giving. That's his first lesson. Though Wahe wanted to help so many people, he didn't do it for money. So his hobby is to give whatever he has in his pockets. Sometimes he gives out his books, and sometimes he gives out his gold coins. Whenever I, I brought my friends to his office, sometimes 10, 15, 20 people, he brought so many gold coins and then uh, gave it to everyone. He did it out of his love and generosity. So he always said, I have more than enough. That's why I wanted to share what I know. That's why I wanted to share what I have. And you may wonder, how much is enough for you? So one of the ways that you feel more than enough is donate 10 cents or just a little coins or a dollar or one euro in to the basket in front of a register and then feel how you are. And if you feel like you're not going bankrupt, that means that you have more than enough. The other way you can figure out is that check your money container size. If we are born with a smaller container and then want a bigger container, there is a gap. So there is this always this craving, I want more, I want to make this money container bigger. But it takes time to grow your money container. So instead of trying to get more, you go toward a different direction to satisfy yourself with less. So by being content with what you receive, then you can feel that you have more than enough. Despite feeling that he had enough or more than enough, but he always said, there is no end to money game. So what is a money game? Why he said that we are born into this money game without our agreeing to it. Think about our childhood. When we were five or six, we didn't know anything about money. But when we were seven or eight, we started witnessing the reality of the world. When we visited or when we were invited to the birthday party of a friend, we were surprised that our friend's house is so big or so small. And later on, we started learning that we have more money or we have less money compared to our friends. And when we hit our teenage, we feel so good about ourselves. We feel so ashamed of ourselves, depending on our parents' financial situation. And when we hit our 20s, we start figuring out uh, what kind of work we do. And when we hit our 30s or 40s, we try to make both ends meet. We just um, worry about paying back the mortgage or the student loans and start worrying about uh, our parents' Uh, care and also our daycare for the kids. When we hit our 60s, we start thinking about retirement and then we are surprised and worried how little we have for uh, rainy days. And when we hit our 70s, we still worry about the medical bill. Uh, one of my friend's father, who, uh, who was hospitalized and he is 86, and the first thing 
he said after being in the hospital to his son, he said, Are you okay with the money? So even if you hit 80s in your life, money game will not release you. So we have to play the money game since we are six or seven, and then we have to keep playing until we drop. There's no end to money game. That's something we have to keep in our mind. We've just scratched the surface of Wahe's deep wisdom, but he has given me more insights behind the closed doors. And I don't want you to miss out on his other life changing lessons. If you want to learn Wahe's next key to unlocking great wealth and happiness, please check out this next video.